Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you my issue with the battery drain and how I found it. That multimeter is around $40 and can do the job for you. So how it works, let's set it up. Two amps. Here you have AC automatically, so you switch off to DC current. Goes like that, so we need to zero first. Then we can clamp the positive terminal. And here we have 24 milliamps, which is okay. The car is sleeping, it's locked. I simulated trunk. My issue was not here in this box. I checked all the fuses. Okay, the normal amperage uh, draw when the car is sleeping is around 70, 80 milliamps. As I said, at the back I don't have problem, I already checked. With a test light, you can see where we have current and basically all of them. And turns out that all of them has a power supply to them right now when the car sleeps. So what I had to do is to check the voltage between the fuels, each fuels voltage itself. Most of them I had zero, but for example, this one, let's, let me show you. That's the parasitic uh, draw that I have uh, issue with my telephone system that is connected to telephone system. Well, let me put it back. It's a fuse number 36. Three hundred thirty-four milliamps. All right. Let me show you. As we said, we only already know what is the issue. So let's set it up. Voltage. Select DC, zero. So now we have that reading. Okay, let's take a look. Zero, zero. Two. Okay. Zero. 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 Which is faulty. six millivolts and so on you can check the rest like that so basically it should be near zero if everything is fine but in my case yeah let's remove it and see again the current anyhow i have full code on the telephone system
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We go back to amps. Right. Go to DC zero. And then attach. One sixty. Sixty five milliamps. Thanks for watching.